Hi, I'm Margaret and this is Mag Sing Along. Today I'm going to talk about how awareness of vowel shapes can improve your singing. So what are vowels? Vowels are basically just sounds we make through an open mouth or vocal tract. Things like a, ah, a, ah, e, o, and u are all vowels. Now consonants are a little different. They are sounds that go through a mouth and vocal tract, but there's some type of closure that helps produce the sound. So for example, T, D, G, B, M, N, or NG, ng. Those are all consonants that have some type of closure before I make the sound. So when we're talking and singing, we have to make sound through vowels and consonants. But the difference between talking and singing is that there's more steadier airflow in singing and that steady sound flows through a more specifically held vowel shape. So for example, if I say the phrase, Georgia, Georgia, a song of you, comes sweet and clear as moonlight through the pines. That's me talking it, you hear vowels and consonants, but nothing is steady. Now if I sing it, you'll notice something different. Georgia, Georgia, a song of you comes as sweet and clear as moonlight through the pines. You hear that I'm actually pausing sometimes on a vowel shape and letting the sound flow through it before I move on. So for the first word, Georgia, uh, I am just holding my, my mouth in the position of uh and letting the sound flow. Now there are some obstacles in our way when we're singing. Things like diphthongs and consonants can change the quality of our voice and confuse us as to why. A diphthong is when there are two vowels in a syllable. So words like coin, oi, loud is ah uh, and side ai ah, those are two vowels inside the one sound that we make uh, for the for that syllable so uh, which vowel shape do we actually pick to sing through when we have to hold out that syllable so for example in the song georgia i'm going to highlight the word moonlight light is a diphthong. There's the a ah and the e vowels in that part of the word, light. So I'm going to first sing through a ah and hold that out for a while before going to the e, and then I'm going to do the other way and sing through the e. And you can see which one sounds better. Moonlight. The other one. Moonlight. You might be able to tell that moonlight sounds a little strange, doesn't sound quite right, but moonlight does sound better and you can pick up on what the word is better too. So a general rule of thumb in singing is that you want to sing through the first vowel sound of a diphthong, not the second one. So um, another uh, diphthong in that phrase is in the first word of the song, Georgia, Georgia. Um, if I sing through the er vowel, it'll sound kind of strange. Georgia, Georgia. I guess you could say it makes me sound a little country. But in general, you want to sing through the first vowel, Georgia, Georgia and just gently touch on that second vowel of the diphthong. Another thing to watch out for when singing through vowels is actually not singing through a vowel at all and just singing through a consonant. So for example, if I forget to sing through a vowel at the end of my phrase on the word pines and just hold out the NS, it'll sound like this. Through the pines, which blocks the sound significantly. And um, it also makes it harder for us to understand what word I'm actually singing. 
you want to make sure that you don't just sing through a consonant. You sing through a vowel. Pines. Pines is also hard because it's also a diphthong. So again, you also don't want to do pines, which would be singing through the second diphthong and the consonant. Remember, first vowel of a diphthong and try not to sing too long through a consonant, just get off of it right away. And we'll understand you better and we will hear you better. Thanks for listening. Again, my name is Margaret and this is Mag Sing Along. You can join me every month for more tips on singing.